from planes and parks to picnics and pies. In this week's video, I have some out of the ordinary lunches to share with you. And that's because this week, all of our lunches have been on the go. And you guys, since we've been traveling, we ended up buying all store-bought and ready-made lunches instead of making them ourselves. I'm Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and welcome to Bunches of Lunches Traveling Edition. Right now it is almost midnight on Saturday and since we're leaving super early to go to Utah tomorrow, I'm packing the kids lunches right now. Now this is going to be about a five and a half to six hour flight for us so I definitely want to pack both lunches and snacks for the plane. Now whenever I pack airplane lunches, I pack things a little bit differently than I normally would at home. Usually in the lunches, I try not to pack so many packaged things, and I like to use as many reusable containers and lunch boxes as I can. Since these lunches are going to be going through security, I actually prefer the food to be in sealed packages. That way, if airport security opens up the kids' lunch bags, the food won't get contaminated. And I don't like to bring all of my reusable containers either because I don't want them to get lost or damaged, and I can't really be washing reusable containers on the airplane anyway. So yes, for these lunches, I've just tried to pack things I know my kids like, things that will travel well, that won't get all crushed or soggy or leaky, and I'm definitely adding extra snacks in here as well, just in case our flight gets delayed and we end up needing more food than just lunch. Now you guys, I showed you what I packed for the kids for the plane, but for myself, I didn't actually pack a lunch. I just brought this one protein bar. I did, however, pack some fun activities for myself, including my Japanese language books. And then of course, the kids packed their own activities as well. And you guys, surprisingly, out of everything in the kids' lunches today, I'd say the thing that they've enjoyed the most was actually the hummus cups with the pretzels and the carrots. So I'll definitely be packing those again next time. Hey guys, and welcome to Monday. Now, since this is our first full day in Utah, we've been doing some grocery shopping. And if you missed yesterday's video, I'll go ahead and link that down below. In that video, I shared our entire grocery haul as well as a tour of our Park City rental house. So check that out if you missed it. For today's lunch, we decided to make a quick stop at In-N-Out. Now, In-N-Out used to be one of our favorite restaurants in California when we lived there but unfortunately there are no in and outs in Florida. So since we're here, we definitely wanted to make a stop. You guys will have to let me know in the comments down below if you've ever tried in and out They have a very simple menu, but it is very good. So I have to say that most of the kids enjoyed their cheeseburgers, except for Miss Lily. She told me that she would prefer her burger with no meat. And she said that the French fries were actually her favorite part. Hey guys, and happy Tuesday. Now, for the rest of the week's lunches, we decided to go with a picnic in the park theme. There are so many amazing free public parks here in Utah that we definitely wanna check some out this week. Right now, Lily and I are headed into a grocery store called Smith's Marketplace to hopefully find everything we need for today's picnic. And you guys, this is actually a really unique grocery store because not only does it have groceries and ready-made foods, but it also has a Starbucks, 
a jewelry store, a clothing section. They also sell furniture and home decor as well. So this store has basically everything. Okay guys, so here we are at Discovery Park in a town called Pleasant Grove. But before the kids can hit the playground, it's time for lunch. Who's ready for lunch? <laughs> now I tried to recreate the picnics of my youth and I tried to find foods that I remember having when we were on picnics. So the first thing I picked up from Smith was some fried chicken. I have chicken tenders and some chicken drumsticks. I'll get those out in a minute. And they also got two different kinds of salad. This is a traditional deviled egg potato salad. I'm not sure if it's good, but we're gonna try it. And then I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good. This is a pistachio jello salad. It's very green. This is supposed to be very popular here in Utah, so that should be good. I also have lots of fruit to choose from, a whole veggie platter. And then whatever we don't eat for the fruit, from the fruit and the veggies, we'll have later this week. I also got this interesting looking retro barbecue chip bag. We got some lemonade and finally some really fun red, white, and blue cupcakes. Hey guys, so today we are at Nilsen Grove Park in Orem. And on one side of the park, we have these beautiful mountains. And on the other side, we have the kind of loud freeway. So hopefully you'll be able to hear me. Before we got to the park, we stopped and picked up lunch at Mo Betta's, which is a Hawaiian restaurant. And the kids have never tried Hawaiian food before. So hopefully they'll like this. So because I've never tried Hawaiian food, I ended up just getting four of the different kids meals so they can kind of try everything. So in this first one, we have some Kalua pork with rice. In this one, we have some teriyaki chicken. In this one, we have some katsu chicken. And in this one, we have some of the teriyaki beef. And then they gave us lots of different sauces to try. We have like a, a ketchup, a katsu sauce, and I think one of these is a teriyaki sauce too. While I was there, I also picked up some fun drinks. These are from Hawaii. We have a strawberry guava, a pineapple orange, passion orange, and passion fruit. I did also bring lots of fruits and veggies to go with our lunch. And for dessert, we brought some mochi. And this is the apple flavored mochi, which we've never tried before. Now this park doesn't have any crazy slides or climbing structures, but I really wanted to visit this park because it's described as a European style park. It has lots of plants and a garden. It also has water fountains and it also has a duck pond with lots of adorable baby ducks. And you guys, it also has a very unique swing set. Now this is actually called a carousel swing and this one's a replica of the one that was built in the 1800s. The original one was made of wood and apparently they used to actually attach a horse to this swing that would actually spin the whole thing around, kind of like a carnival ride. See you tomorrow! Okay, so for today we went to a restaurant called Cafe Rio, which is very popular here in Utah and you cannot find in Florida. I'm thinking it's considered Tex-Mex food, but for the kids, we went ahead and just got the quesadilla kids meal. Two of these have just cheese and two of them also have the shredded pork filling. All of the kids meals also came with some beans and some chips. It looks really good. To go along with that, we also got some queso, some extra salsa and some guacamole. 
a big bag of chips. We still have our fruit platter, some of it is left. And then for our drink, we got some horchata. And I can't forget our salad. This is for my husband and I, it is so big. This is definitely Cafe Rio's number one seller. It's a big salad with a sweet pork inside. It is so good. So today we are at a park called Neptune Park and it's located in a town called Saratoga Springs. Now I would say the unique thing about this park is the ginormous and kind of scary pyramid shaped climbing structure. This thing is about 25 feet tall and this park also has other very interesting climbing structures and it also has a hanging teeter-totter which the kids love. Hey guys and welcome to Friday. I'd say that we've saved one of our favorite parks for last. Today we are at Wardle Field Park in Bluffdale, Utah. Now you guys, this park is huge and so are the slides. These slides are about 25 feet tall and they're some of the tallest I've ever seen. Now this park also has a really huge area for a waterfall and a splash pad, but unfortunately since it's kind of cold today, the water stuff isn't on, but still this is a really fun park and every time we come here, the kids never wanna leave. Now for today's lunch, we stopped at a new place in South Jordan and it's called Flake Pie Company. Now in Utah, there are so many cookie stores and soda stores, but this is the very first pie store I've ever seen. And you guys, not only do they have some really delicious looking fruit pies, but they also have some savory pies. Now, we ended up just getting a few things to share because we kind of want to try a little bit of everything. So for their savory pies, we ended up picking a veggie pie first. This has spinach and broccoli inside. We also picked up two of the barbecue pork flavored pies. These also look and smell so good. And then of course, we got the traditional chicken pot pie as well. This restaurant also makes some homemade Pop-Tarts, so we picked up a few of those. And then we also picked up three of their mini fruit pies that we're gonna take back to the house and have later tonight. This one is a key lime pie, the one in the center is a banana and meringue pie, and then this last one is a coconut pie. Now, personally, I thought these pies were very, very good. The crust was super flaky. My favorite one was definitely the spinach pie, but I do have to say, not all of the kids were totally loving the pies. See you next week!